Hi friends, let's do this integral. So ln of tan x over, oops, too fast, of sine x, cosine x, and then dx. Okay. Not really obvious how to approach this. So we will say ln of tan x over sine x. I'm going to separate off cosine x dx this way here. Now remember that the tangent and the secant squared functions are related. We don't have a secant squared here, but we can kind of force it into existence by multiplying by 1. So we'll say ln of tan x sine x times cosine x here. But if I'm going to multiply by cosine, I have to divide by cosine x here. Because this cosine here, with the one on the bottom right here, they amount to 1. And then we have 1 over cosine x dx. So now look what happens. Antiderivative, ln tan x. And then here I will have tan x on the bottom from sine x over cosine x. This cosine times this cosine here will give me 1 over cosine squared x uh, dx, which is good because this is secant squared. So you're going to have ln tan x over tan x, and then this is secant squared x dx. And now we can say u equals tan x. That's pretty good. That means du equals secant squared x dx, which you've managed to squeeze in here. So now we will have antiderivative of ln of u over u, and then du this way. Okay, so maybe this is not again obvious. So what you can do is the following. Just let, for example, p equal ln u, then dp equals 1 over u du, which we have here. So you're going to have this antiderivative. ln u is p, and then 1 over u du is dp. So it's just dp this way, see? So we can anti-differentiate this easily. It's going to be p squared over 2. But now p is ln of u. So you're going to have, uh, let's be careful here, ln of u with a quantity squared over 2. Uh, let's add the c. But then remember u, we said to be tan x. So it's going to be the following over here. ln of tan x, all of this squared over 2 plus c. There you go.